Hi there, welcome, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. To all my viewers out there, I welcome you to this video regarding WhatsApp um, transfer messages from Android to iPhone. And for this method, it's actually free. It's actually a new method that I just stumbled up onto. It's actually from 2022. Now, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you kindly to open your browser to search up um, this method, it's going to be called iOS transfer or you can just uh, get a note, a pencil and a, a pen uh, scratch paper if that's uh, what you want and then follow the steps accordingly, okay? I am using my iPhone right now and Android simultaneously to show you guys the steps and please follow them accordingly to avoid any uh, problems when you try this out on yourself, okay? So the very first thing I want you to do is of course Please mind my iPhone first. Don't mind my Android right here. Let me just pull that notifications down. Now, we're going on my iPhone. On my iPhone, or on your iPhone iOS device, please go to settings. And the very first thing I want you to do is, of course, check your software update. To check your software update, guys, go to settings, click on Generals tab. Let me highlight it right there. I'm going to hold it so you can see it. And once you're here, I want you to click on software update right about there. Click on it, and as you can see here, the latest version right now is 16.5. Um, right now is actually June 6, 2023, and this is the latest version of iOS available on my end. And this method that I'm about to teach you on transferring WhatsApp chat from Android to iPhone needs to be, I think, 15.5 or 14.5 for iOS versions and above. So please make sure you already have that latest version of iOS installed on your phone, okay? On Android, it's not that much of a big deal. On Android now, let's please focus on my Android device. I want you to open here, Play Store. Right there, once you have Play Store over here, I want you to search up, Move to iOS. And as you can see here, this should be the app that you should find on your Play Store. It's named Move to iOS. It's actually self-explanatory what are we going to use it for. This is the app we're going to use it to transfer data. WhatsApp messages from Android to iPhone. So as you can see here, last update is May 9th, 2023, and fixes an issue where messages may be missing or imported out of order. That's a very good um, bug issue. Now once we're here, I want you to click on open right over there. Now, you can either read this up or just click agree over here. And please stay here. Do not click anything yet. Now let's focus on my iPhone. Since I cannot really proceed with this method because it involves restarting my iPhone and that will ruin my screen recording, I took a few screenshots to give you the steps so you can follow through, okay? Let me just open my iPhone right here, my camera roll. So please mention, or I'm sorry, please focus on my iPhone right now. On your iPhone, before we get into the app itself, I want you to go in settings and then Click on general tab right here. Let me highlight it for you guys while holding it. Now once you're here, please scroll down at the very bottom part. And you'll see here transfer or reset iPhone. Don't be scared. Even though it says erase, it's not really erasing everything here. It's not really transferring everything. This is not the method yet. This is just part of the step, okay? Now, you can either reset or erase all content. The majority of the people is being confused here, so please take note, get your pencil, pen, notepad, whatever you have right now, and listen to me properly. I want you to click on Erase All Content right here. Do not click on Reset, okay? If you click on Reset, you'll have a few choices right there, but I want you to click on Erase All Content over here. Once you click on Erase Content, you'll see Erase's iPhone, which is I'm not going to proceed, it will ruin my screen recording, but... It doesn't mean you don't have to. Please proceed, just open your um, iPhone, um, erase your iPhone, I'm sorry, and then input your passcode or your PIN, and please go on with the process one step of a time. I think it only needs your PIN. Once you reset your iPhone, you'll be arriving on this um, landing page. Once you click on Apps and Data, and then move data from Android, please choose this one right here. You can either set up your new iPhone, but do not click that one since we're going to get a data from your Android device, right? So please click on move device from Android 
And then once on your Android device, click on continue right here, click on agree, and then just click on automatically send right there. Location, of course, click on location right there. And as you can see here, move to iOS. That's good. App info, perfect. Now, location permission is required. Let's just access that location permission. Give me a second here. Now, it's asking us allow app while using the app. Give me a second here. Just fix the settings. Perfect. Click on continue now. As you can see here, it says found your code, right? If you click on continue right here, you will be on the landing page where you need to input your code. Click that one right there. And as you can see here, it says answer one time code. Now, where will we get this one time code? Please focus on my iPhone right now. It says move data from Android, right? Once you choose this one, you'll arrive on this one time code right here. I'm sorry, I think I have no screenshot available, so please, um, after clicking on move data from Android, you're gonna have a one time code available. Click on that on your Android device, and then you'll arriving, oh, I'm sorry, you'll be arriving on this landing page right here. It says transfer data, and then you can either choose messages, contacts, calendars, Google account, camera roll, display settings, Accessibility settings and of course that's the one right there the one we want the one we need it's gonna be called whatsapp Okay Now once you click on that one you'll be arriving on um, A minute or two minutes approximately on waiting time to be completed on the transfer It should be seeing like this you should be seeing this one. It says transfer complete using the iOS move to Android app now, once you're done right here, I want you to pull up your WhatsApp app from your Android or your iPhone since we're doing it vice versa from Android to iPhone. I want you to pull up your WhatsApp app on your iPhone device. As you can see here, before you get into this, because I know for a fact that you're aware of this one, this chat option on WhatsApp itself, there is a move chats to Android, right? Now, this is fairly simple, I know, but... You cannot really function it properly without doing the first step I taught you earlier. The move to iOS app, something like that. Please finish that first. Once you're done with that, just click on start right here. Once you click on start, everything will be good. You'll see that option OK on your Apple. I'm sorry. You'll see that option OK or accept on your Android device. Just click on that one and then you'll be good to go. Okay? So I hope you had fun. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys.